My Pro Tools is possessed by Forte and is moving all by itself. Now it's about to start doing strip silence. Hey man, I think I'm about to fire my assistant. All because of AI. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavyproaudio.com. I'm always looking for ways to help you record and mix better and faster. Today, I'm trying out Forte AI. Now, this is an AI assistant for your studio sessions, man. It's going to help you to import, rename, categorize, route, and even export stems from your session. And did I mention that it do strip silence? Yeah, it do all of that, man. And I'm really thinking that I might be able to save some money by firing my assistant. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. But look, AI is here to take our jobs. Let me show you all how easy it is. So this is what Forte looks like. And to get started, all you really want to do is drag and drop your audio files in. And it's going to start to process those audio files. It's going to even analyze those audio files because y'all know when you're working with FL Studio producers and other uh, DAWs, sometimes they'll export and some of the files will come out stereo when they're not true stereo. Forte is going to analyze that and even convert them from fake stereo into mono so that they're much easier to work with and we just have the tracks as we need them in our session. It'll even rename them too. This thing does a lot, man. So before I get started though, I'm gonna customize my routing. So I've already, ha I have a session open in Pro Tools where I have a really basic template that has some basic routing folders with the sections that I'll usually have um, in my session, like my drums, my percussion, my bass, keys, guitars, all of that stuff. It's already just set up in routing folders ready for me to go. In Forte, they notice that I have that session here. Let me just go ahead, boom. You see that it knows my session. Forte test. This is my Forte test. It has all of the uh, information about the session, the parameters, such as the sample rate, the bit depth. It knows all of that. You can come in here, you can customize, you can rearrange as you need to. You see, we have the strip silence right here at the bottom. Um, you can change these settings and even set the strip silence as you need it but I'm going to stick with the default. They say that the default settings are going to be good enough. We're going to see about that. I got my name in style, capitalize everything. Um, stereo to mono. Absolutely. Any tracks that are determined to be false stereo, go ahead and make those mono so much easier to work with in the session. Um, yeah. And then that's really all I have to do here. Now you see, you can use this in pro tools and logic, and we're just going to go ahead and get to the import settings, confirm that. I'm gonna drag and drop my files and boom. As the files are being processed right now, again, Forte is looking at renaming those files, is looking at, hey, if it's stereo and it doesn't need to be, let's go ahead and make it mono and it's doing all the things. It works pretty quickly too, in my experience right now, we've already analyzed half of the tracks, 22 out of the 68, well, a third of the tracks, all right? Um, boom. In just a few seconds, we should be ready to go. Once it's done processing, we can listen to any other tracks as needed to make sure that everything is what it says it is once it renamed it and we can fix that if need be. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this routing button is checked, right? When you do that, it's gonna ensure that all of the routing aligns with the IO setup in your session. We're gonna set these outputs and boom. Once I do that, automatically, without me doing anything, Forte has analyzed the tracks and says, hey, we're going to output these tracks to drums. We're going to output these tracks to percussion. We're going to output these tracks to bass and guitar and so forth. You can easily change this if you realize that it's with the wrong group or something like that or going to the wrong output. You can do that. And I see some of these, like these crowds and these sound effects. Uh, Forte didn't necessarily know what to do with those in this uh, session, but I'm just going to route those to a other bus. And then same thing with my horns. I'm going to route these out as well to uh, my brass uh, bus, cool, all right? And now that we got that set, there's another little button that I must have checked here at the top, and that's move tracks. What this is gonna do is automatically, after importing, move those tracks into the appropriate routing folders where they go so that they work like they need to work for routing folders. I'm gonna hit import, boom. You see Pro Tools takes over. My hands are off right now. Hands up, don't. <laughs> My hands are off, hands up. 
Forte is literally doing all the work, it's going through, it's changing the colors, it's changing the names, and you can see that automatically everything is being routed and moved into the folders that they need to be in, man. This is super dope. is going through setting all the outputs appropriately again look it's doing all of this and my hands are straight up in the air i'm not doing anything right now my pro tools is possessed by forte <laughs> my pro tools is possessed by forte and is moving all by itself now it's about to start doing strip silence yo this is crazy it's going through track by track and this box is just strip silence all of these tracks. We can see it happening in, live in action right now. Again, hands off, no assistant needed. Ben, I'm sorry. Forte <laughs> is doing his big one with this session. Now, Granted, I had about 68 tracks in this session, so it's taking a little while, right? It's taking a couple minutes, but this is way faster than I could have done, and I'm a Pro Tools ninja, and I couldn't move this fast in my session uh, to get everything routed and organized in this way. Let's go back and look at Forte. Boom, done. Pro Forte says done. That was fast. What do I wanna do now? Uh, we'll keep working uh, in this session for now. All right, boom. Now let's take a look at everything now that Forte is done. We got my drums, routing folder, all the drums are in there. Got my percussion, all the percussion is in there, right? Everything is routed. You can see all the outputs going where they need to go. This is super clutch, man. This is gonna save us all so much time and this is the powerful tools that I'm looking for in AI to just save us from doing all of the grunt work and stuff that we don't, uh, when we waste so much time doing stuff that isn't creative, that isn't necessarily moving the session forward, we cannot, instead of spending an hour working on arranging this session and getting it organized, it's already done for me. The strip silence has already been done and it's a professionally organized session. Now And now I can start mixing. The only thing I wish is that Forte went in and did my song structure markers. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's next. Forte, let's add that in. But now let's take a look at the other side of Forte. Once I'm done mixing this, I can go in and hit the export tab. All right, it's just looking at the outputs that I have. And here I can create custom prints. So I'm gonna go in it and I'm gonna say, you know what, all my drums, let's select those. They already color coded. We got the same color coding from the session over here to make it really easy. We're gonna name this drums, create that print, all right? You got the format that you can choose, whether you want it to be one file, individual files, however you choose. I'm gonna go with one file, interleave. We'll create that print. We can create as many custom prints as we need to. And so now I'm gonna go over and then also let's do my percussion, right? And then create print and let's just change that name, all right? And as you see, we'll do one more real quick. We'll just do these, uh, we'll do the, the bass. It, it's only one track, but we'll do that as well. Cool. Now we see we got all of these set up as they need to be. I'm gonna hit print select it. We can choose the file name. I'm gonna name it Forte, name it whatever the session is, and then it'll do the print name after that. You can choose your file type, the sample rate, the bit depth, all of that, and even the location. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce to my default location and hit print. All three of these prints, or however many you choose, they're going to print all at the same time. If you look at what's happening in the session in the background, Pro Tools is literally being soloed out to print these tracks individually and create these submasters. This again is saving us so much time to print stems. You set it, you forget it, you don't gotta keep sitting around waiting. You can literally go and do something else, but not much else because it's super fast, man, super fast. Now the bounce is completed. 
and I'm literally done, man. If I go over and look at my session folder, let's look at my Forte test, bounce files. You can see here are my prints already. Uh, I was practicing and doing some earlier, so we have some other ones in, but my Forte bass, my Forte drums, and my Forte percussion is all set up, man. Forte has some really dope shortcuts that allow us to export stems without even leaving our session. I can just come right and select the tracks that I wanna export. And if I wanna export this horns group as a stem, I'm gonna just first select those tracks and hit the shortcut option command C. That's gonna send over all of these tracks to be exported in Forte. You see, I didn't even do this in Forte, just by going here, you see I have those 22 tracks selected and they're gonna be bounced down to one file. The only difference here is that we just still gotta come here and make sure we name this. So I'll just go and name it horns, right? If I wanted to get these tracks to export individually, that's easy too. All I gotta do is use another little shortcut, option command V, and then look at Forte now, you see those 22 tracks will be exported as 22 files. And of course we would just name this again and boom, all these tracks will be exported really easily. I can walk away. Yo, what do y'all think about using AI to help you organize and uh, export stems from your Pro Tools or Logic session? I think this is a great tool. I'm definitely going to be using it. I got a free trial right now, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and get this Forte thing. Let me know what y'all think about Forte AI in the comment section below. Is this enough to make you fire your assistant? Do you have an assistant? Are you the assistant who's gonna be sneaking and using Forte instead of doing all the work manually? Let me know down in the comments. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavyproaudio.com. Don't let AI take your job, man.